The Ukrainian portal, Sensor.net, has indicated that training of Japanese mercenaries in Japan and their subsequent dispatch to Ukraine is being taken up. As per the report, the Committee of Veterans of the Japan Self-Defense Forces in the city of Soroka, Yamagata Prefecture, is actively recruiting volunteers for the Japan International Territorial Defense Legion. Former members of the Japan Self-Defense Forces and others with military training are accepted. At the expense of the committee, travel to the collection point, food and medical examination in the hospital of the city of Sakata of the same prefecture is being carried out. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the arrival of Japanese warriors in Ukraine is bound to worry Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. As per the report, assistance in this process is provided by the Embassy of Ukraine in Japan, which draws up the necessary migration documents. Accepted volunteers are sent to a special training center in Asahi, where they undergo the necessary additional training. It was noted that the highest spirit and fighting qualities of Japanese warriors are well known throughout the world, and there is a strong belief that their appearance on the fronts of the struggle against the Russian invaders will horrify those. The infusion of Japanese personnel will mean the addition of more forces in Ukraine's foreign legion, which already comprises people from several countries, like the US, the UK, and Belgium, to name a few. While the potential arrival of Japanese fighters in Ukraine can't be equated directly with the official government stand, there is a background to this. Japan's response to the annexation of Crimea in 2014 was tame. It took considerable U.S. prodding to make Japan act, but even then its sanctions were largely symbolic. In contrast, its response to the recent events in Ukraine has been decisive and strong. Japan has revoked Russia's status as a most favored trading nation, suspending visa issuance for certain individuals with relations to Russia, and froze their assets and excluded selected Russian banks from the SWIFT bank messaging system. Japan has also provided Ukraine with humanitarian aid. Prime Minister Kishida held summit telephone talks with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on several occasions offering food and medical supplies, as well as defensive equipment from the Japan Self-Defense Force, including masks and suits, to protect against chemical weapons. Japan has also pledged to double financial support for Ukraine to $600 million. Japan has revised its own policy guidelines on transferring defense equipment following requests from the Ukrainian government. Viewers may note that Japan and Russia have a dispute over the South Kuril Islands, comprising Etorofu Island, Kunashiri Island, Shikotan Island, and Habomai Island. On the 15th of February, 2022, Defense Minister Nobukishi reported the detection of a fleet of 24 Russian warships in the waters off Japan. It's also to be noted that Japan has become increasingly wary of the fact that there's ever-growing cooperation between Russia and China. It's not been easy going for Russia when it comes to the war in Ukraine, unlike what was predicted. The loss in men and materials is very high, and some experts believe that it can't be sustained very long. While Russia would have liked to have a swift victory, the conflict has now turned into an attritional battle. In this situation, arrival of Japanese fighters, known for bravery and discipline, is something the Kremlin would really be worried about. 
A steady supply of Western weapons and inflow of foreign fighters could slowly chip away at the military advantages of Russia that it had in the beginning of the conflict. It remains to be seen how President Putin and the Kremlin responds to this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.